Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? Hope you all are fine by Almighty Allah's will. Today we are going to start our first lesson of English literature, which is the river bank. But before starting, please place your book, Oxford Reading Circle, in front of you. I am going to read and explain lesson for one for you. Please open up page 9 and listen me carefully. The River Bank The mole had been working very hard all the morning, spring cleaning his little home, first with brooms, then with dusters, then on ladders and steps and chairs, with a brush and a pail of whitewash, till he had dust in his throat and eyes and splashes of whitewash all over his black fur, and an aching back. Aching means continuous pain. Underline this word. And weary arms. Underline this word. It means tired. Spring was moving in the air about and in the earth below and around him. Penetrating. It means entering into. Underline this word. Even his dark and lonely, lowly little house. Mole is a bear. Mole was doing thorough cleaning of his house including whitewash and dusting. At last he was tired and pain in his back. After a long winter season, spring was about to come. He suddenly flung, flung means to throw, down his brush on the floor, said bother, and oh blow, and also hangs spring cleaning, and bolted, bolted means very fast out of the house without even waiting to put on his coat. Something up above was calling him and he made for the steep little tunnel. Steep means slow. He scrapped and scratched. Rubbing means rubbing and scrapped and screwed. Screwed means behave in a weird manner. And then he scooped, screwed again and scrabbled and scratched and scraped, scrapped. Working busily with his little paws and muttering means talking to himself. Up we go, up we go. Till at last, pop! His snout came out into the sunlight and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow. Meadow means grassy place. So what was happened that he was fed up of cleaning. He threw everything and came out of his house for rest. In a grassy place, he was behaving in a weird manner. This is fine, he said to himself. This is better than whitewashing. The sunshine struck. Struck means to hit. Hot on his fur, soft beasts caress. Caress means relaxed. His heat is broke. Jumping off all his four legs at once. In the joy of living and the delight of spring without its cleaning. He persuade. Persuade means continue his way across the meadow till he reached the hedge. Hedge means boundary on the further side. So he thought it is better to stay here rather than doing whitewash. While enjoying and jumping, he reached the boundary on the other side. Hold up, said an elderly rabbit at the cap. Sixpence from the privilege of passing by the private road. He was bold. Bold means to fall. Over in an instant. Instant means quickly. By the impatient mole who trotted. Trotted means walk slowly. Along the side of the hedge. Caffing. Caffing means teasing. The other rabbits as they peep. Peep means to look into. Hurriedly from their holes to see what the row was about. Onion sauce, onion sauce. He remarked cheeringly and was gone before they could think of a thoroughly satisfactory reply. Then they all started grumbling. Grumbling means blaming at each other. How stupid you are. Why didn't you tell him? Well, why didn't you say? You might have reminded him. And so on. In the usual way. But of course, it was then too. It was then much too late, as is always the case. Okay. So on the other side of Meadow, there were rabbits who asked him to pay six pence 
as a right to cross the road. Before they stopped him, he rapidly crossed the road and they all kept on blaming each other. It all seemed too good to be true. Hither and thither, it means here and there. Through the meadows, he rambled busily. Rambled means roaming. Along the hedge rows, finding everywhere birds building. Flowers budding, leaves thrusting, everything happy. He thought his happiness was complete when, as he meandered aimlessly along, suddenly he stood by the edge of a full-fed river. Never in his life had he seen a river before. All was glints and gleams, means sparkling. And sparkles rustle and swirl, moving sound of trees. Chatter and bubble, means calm sounds. The mole was bewitched, impressed, entrance fascinated. By the side of the river, he trotted as one trots, and when tired at last, he sat on the bank. Okay, suddenly he found himself alongside of a river. He had never seen a river before. It was very shiny and bright, and calm voices were coming from it. The mole was getting attracted by the river. At last, he sat on the river bank as he was tired now. As he sat on the grass and looked across the river, a dark, a dark hole in the bank opposite, just above the water's edge, caught his eye as he gazed. Gaze means staring something. Bright and small seemed to twinkle down in the heart of it, vanished, disappeared then twinkled one more like a tiny star but it could hardly be a star in such an unlikely situation and it was too glittering and small for a glow worm then as he looked at it went at him a small face began gradually to grow up around it like a frame round a picture as the mole was sitting on the river bank he saw a hole on the opposite side into which he saw a light like a twinkling star. A brown little face with whiskers. Whiskers means moustache. A grave brown face with the same twinkle in its eye that had first attracted his notice. Small neat ears and thick silly hair. It was the water rat. Then the two animals stood and regarded. Regarded means greeted each other cautiously. Hello, mole said the water rat. Hello, rat, said the mole. Would you like to come over? Inquired the rat presently. Oh, it's all very well to talk, said the mole. Rather peetishly, peetishly means irritating. He being new to a river and riverside life and its way. Okay, so the thing was the mole saw in a hole was actually a water rat. When water rat came out, they saw and treated each other. Then the rat offered him to come over, but he but more replied that it is not easy as everything was new for him. The rat said nothing, but stoop stoop means to come closer. And unfastened means to open a rope and hauled on it. Haul means to pull. Then lightly stepped into a little boat which the mole had not observed. It was painted blue outside and white within and was just the size for two animals. And the mole's whole heart went, went out to it at once, even though he did not yet fully understand its uses. Okay. So the rat quickly pulled the rope of the boat towards himself and stepped into it. It was a small boat. The mole was attracted by the boat, but he was not aware of using it. A brown little face with whiskers. Whiskers means moustache. A grave brown face with the same twinkle in its eye that had first attracted his notice. Small neat ears and thick silly hair. It was the water rat. Then the two animals stood and regarded. Regarded means greeted each other cautiously. Hello, mole, said the water rat. Hello, rat, said the mole. Would you like to come over? Inquired the rat presently. Oh, it's all very well to talk, said the mole. Rather peetishly, 
Pitishni means irritating. He being new to a river and riverside life and its way. Okay, so the thing was the mole saw in a hole was actually a water rat. When water rat came out, they saw and treated each other. Then the rat offered him to come over, but he but mole replied that it is not easy as everything was new for him. The rat said nothing, but stoop stoop means to come closer, and unfastened means to open a rope and hold on it. Hold means to pull. Then lightly stepped into a little boat which the mole had not observed. It was painted blue outside and white within, and was just the size for two animals. And the mole's whole heart went went out to it at once. even though he did not yet fully understand its uses ek second uh okay so the rat quickly pulled the rope of the boat towards himself and stepped into it it was a small boat the mole was attracted by the boat but he was not aware of using it the rat sculled smartly and made fast Then he held up his forepaw as the mole stepped down. Lean on that, he said. Now then, step lively, and the mole, to his surprise and rapture, rapture means happy, found himself actually seated in the stern. Stern means sitting area of the boat of a real boat. This has been a wonderful day, said he, as the red showed. off and took to the sculls again do you know i have never been in a boat before in all my life what cried the rat open mouth never been in a you never well i what have you been doing then is it so nice as all that as the mole shyly though he was quite prepared to believe it as he leaned back in his seat and surveyed surveyed me look Cushions, the oars, the rowlocks, and all the fascinating fittings, and felt the boat sway. Sway means to lost lightly under him. Okay, so with the help with the help of Fred, finally the mole seated in the boat. The mole was very excited about all this. He told the rat that he had never been in a boat before. He looked everything in the boat with keen interest as everything was new to him. Nice, it's the only thing said the water rat as he leaned forward for his stroke. Believe me, my young friend, there is nothing, absolute nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. Simply messing, he went on dreamily messing about in boats messing. Look ahead, rat. cried the mole suddenly it was too late the boat struck the bank full tilt full tilt means full speed it was too the dreamer the joyous oarsman lay on his back at the bottom of the boat his heels in the air okay so while tra- traveling they were talking the boat gets struck into the bank with a full speed and the red fell down at the bottom of the boat about in boats or with boats the boat went on picking himself up with a pleasant laugh in or out of him it doesn't matter nothing seems really to matter that's the charm of it whether you get away or whether you don't whether you arrive at your destination or whether you reach somewhere else or whether you never get anywhere at all you're always busy and you never do anything in particular and when you've done it there is always something else to do and you can do it if you like but you would much better not look here if you've really something else on hand this morning supposing we drop down the river together and have a long day of it the mole wagon wagon means strike his toes from sheer happiness spread his chest with a sigh of full contentment and lean back blissfully into the soft cushions what a day i am having he said let us start at once okay so the rat made him calm by sharing his experience that it is not a serious matter 
it usually happens while traveling in boats hold hard a minute then said the rat he climbed up into the, his boat and after a short interval reappeared staggering, staggering under a fat wicker luncheon basket show that under your feet he observed to the mole as he passed it down into the boat then he took the skulls again what's inside it asked the mole wriggling with curiosity that's cold chicken inside it replied the rat briefly cold turkey cold cheese prickled gherkins salad french rolls cress sandwiches potted meat ginger and lemonade soda water oh stop stop cried the mole in ecstasis ecstasis is means happiness this is too much okay finally so finally they reach at the river bank red climbed to his, into his hole and came back with a fruit basket along with him and it has a lot of things to eat do you really think so inquired the rat seriously it's only what i always take on these little excursions the mole never heard a word he was saying absorbed in the sparkle the ripple the scenes and the sounds and the sunlight he trailed a paw in the water and dreamed long waking dreams the water rat like the good fellow he was sculled steadily on i like your clothes old chap he remarked after some half an hour or so he had passed i'm going to get a black velvet suit myself some day as soon as i can afford it i beg your pardon said the mole pulling himself together with an effort you must think me very rude but all this is so new to me so this is a river the river corrected the rat are you really live by the river what a jo- jolly life okay the mole was surprised by all the actions of the rat as everything was new to new to him he was fascinated by nature his food his clothes He thought that the rat is having a joyful life, but actually it wasn't. So here, the reading and explanation of lesson one has been done. Okay, now we are moving forward towards our notebook work. First, you have to make the title page of term one. Then you have to make the title page of the lesson one, the river bank. Then you have to copy the word meanings given below on every page. in your notebooks okay now move forward to exercise a on page 17 which is question answers you have to copy these question answers question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 and question number 4 in your notebooks i am giving you the answer copy copy these answers in your those answers in your notebooks
Do complete your work on time. Thank you. Allah bless.